In this Black Myth Wukong video, I'm going to show you how you can get the secret transformation of the Ashen Slumber. One you definitely do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm the winner of last week's Black Myth Wukong video game. You can see on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now I am giving away another copy of this game and it is as simple as this. To win, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will pick one winner from the comment section and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. Okay, so transformations can make that extra difference in regards to you winning or losing that next boss fight. That's right ahead of you. Now there are loads of transformations within the game, I think just under 10 actually. Some you can't miss, while others are definitely hidden and require a lot of thinking, exploring and well determination. Well you don't need any of that now because you have me and I have you covered. So this Ashen Slumber transformation, it actually surprised me of how good it can be. Now for something that's so chunky, uh, it's actually very very nimble being able to hit multiple light attacks in quick succession, building up that super attack which on this thing is pretty incredible because you explode and do great damage so yeah okay so there's a lot of confusion around this transformation it's there for some it isn't there for others some people got this from a body in a cell others had to fight a boss for it well i am here to tell you guys that if you don't have this yet no matter where you are in this game no matter how much you've progressed you will have this by the end of this video guide if you don't have it already I myself had many of the problems many other players have had and I was able to solve this being able to get it. This is an item you get from the third rat prince which can be obtained for different players at different points but I will explain all so let's get into it. So the quest for this transformation starts off pretty early on but many players will have progressed way past this point taking out bosses probably tied to this quest along the way which is probably what's confusing players, but it doesn't matter either way. So if you come to the Sangate village, the village entrance shrine, you need to go and locate a couple of hiding rats. So follow this path I take on screen now. Time to die. And you in the corner. My kind of sword. Now for some players depending on where you are in the game, there's no rats here to interact with or they won't interact with you. This can be the case if you haven't defeated the first two rat princes yet. This was the case for my friend but wasn't for me. Yeah, really weird, I don't know. It could be bugged, I'm not sure. Now the two rat princes are more or less within this area where I've already made videos on them. The first one is with his dad, the rat king. And depending on how you win this fight, who you defeat first, the Rat King or the Rat Prince, the second Rat Prince will be found slightly further on, uh, waiting for you to either entice him out, or if you defeat the Rat Prince in the first fight first, the Rat King entices them out. Either way, you fight both, which I'm sure by now you've already defeated these and moved on. So now guys, head back to that Sandgate Village location and the Rat should now speak with you. But again, if they don't, that's fine. And we now move on to the next point where most players are actually confused about. But again, I have you covered, guys. So as you progress the game, you'll eventually come to Chapter 3 and the Pagoda Realm. The first shrine in here is that lower Pagoda Realm. And upon you entering this area, guys, you will notice that there are luck cells behind a purpley spell. For some players, depending on what and how far they've progressed, the third rat prince can be found dead within this cell where you can easily retrieve this transformation. So let's first go down this route of opening this cell. So progress through the pagoda realm and to the upper pagoda realm shrine. From here guys, slightly come back on yourself and there will be a boss down in this location. His name is the Captain Lotus of Vision. And well upon taking him out, and grabbing his spirit, this then allows you to open up that cell that was locked behind that purpley spell. In here there is an NPC not related to this quest line, 
but upon you opening the cell to his right, for some players, that third rat prince is here dead, waiting for you to grab that transformation. Now if you've got this cell opened already and you've done some of this NPC's quest line who can be found within this cell, this is the four captains quest by the way, if you've progressed past this area of the Pagoda realm and that third rat prince still isn't in this cell for you, this is now what you have to do. Head back to that Sangate village village entrance shrine and go back up to where those rats are hiding. Here you should now have dialogue. Now if when you first clicked on this video and started watching this is the point you are at where you have dialogue but it's something along the lines of uh, patience patience this is what those rats are saying to you don't worry again I have you covered. Here guys reload into this area the Sandgate village village entrance shrine. Now guys make your way back up to where those rats are hiding but do not interact with them don't speak to them whatsoever. Just nearby there will be a two headed rat. So search the area and take him out. He does like to explode though, so keep that in mind. Spoiler alert, this is that transformation we get, just not from him right now. But yeah, take out this two-headed rat. If this is something you've already done or if he isn't here for you, take out all the enemies within the surrounding area. You want to be doing this anyway because they are super, super annoying. So take out all enemies within the, the nearby vicinity. All those ones shooting those annoying bastard arrows, even the one upon that roof, you can get to him by going around the back and scaling up. But yes, with you freeing up the area of those enemies, now talk to those hiding rats. Then now guys should have changed dialogue for you and start talking about a third prince. Now if you've already had this but you still can't find that third prince within the pagoda realm, he isn't lying there in that cell, I still have you covered, stay tuned. But either or, when you're talking to these hiding rats, make sure you clear out all that dialogue until they start repeating themselves. Okay, so from here guys, you need to head back to that pagoda realm and that lower pagoda shrine. From here, if you have that cell open, go there first and check to see if that body is there or not. If it is, you are good, grab the transformation. If it isn't, travel back to that lower pagoda shrine and from here guys, we make our way up to that third rat prince and where he should have been found in the first place. So from here guys, follow the path I take on screen now. Keep in mind, unless you get that dialogue from them hiding rats within the Sandgate village and they start talking about that third rat prince, he will not appear here for you, which is why I say go back there, clear out all the enemies within that area, including that two-headed rat if he's there for you, then speak to them to try and get this dialogue. Oh yeah, follow the path I take on screen now to where this third rat prince can be located. Okay, so once you get here guys, you have to fight the third rat prince. And while upon you taking him out, you can now grab this transformation from his body. And well, it is as simple as that. Well, I say simple, it's not simple at all. 
But yeah, no matter where you are in the game, guys, no matter what chapter you are on, past two or three, you can still come back here and do this no matter what you've already done. And there we have it, guys. This is how you get the transformation of the Ashen Slumber. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more of Black Me Fool Kong, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.